It's hard to explain, but when I was small, I never thought of my mom as anything other than my mom. Teachers were just teachers, and cops were just cops. That's all I thought they were. But celebrities were celebrities. They were different from me. They lived in a world I knew nothing about. And I still thought that way, even at 20. I'm totally surprised. I mean, what are the chances? I know. Surprised doesn't even begin to describe how I'm feeling right now. So where should we go? Is it okay for you to stay out late? Tomorrow's Saturday, so I'm guessing you got the day off. Oh, yeah. Is this really happening to me? Relax. You don't have to be so nervous. Right. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Hey, you don't have to apologize. It's fine. Yeah. But I, I really don't know what to say. Okay, now you're starting to make me feel a little nervous. What? How come? Well, because I never expected in my wildest dreams that we'd be meeting up like this. I just wasn't prepared for it. Wait, that's the kind of thing I should be saying. I was just thinking how nice it'd be to see you again. Uh, no way! I don't believe you! No, really, it's true. Why else would I have found out your number and given you a call? I don't make the effort to call people very often. This has got to be a dream. Things like this just don't happen in real life. And even if they do, they would never, ever happen to me. <laughs> Green already. These stoplights are so impatient. And so am I. Forget about Takumi, he's a total player. That kiss was like out of a dream. But really, all it did was wake me up from one. This is no fairy tale. And Takumi isn't a handsome prince. This is nothing more than a one-night stand for him. Wait here for a second. What should I do? Get out of here? I didn't plan for this to happen. Hey, isn't that the guy from Trap Nest? Yeah, cool. He's so tall. Then why did I even get in the car with him? He'd never seriously consider going out with someone like me. I'm not stupid. I knew what going off to have dinner with him might lead to. Maybe a part of me was hoping for this. Why am I hesitating? This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I don't have a boyfriend, so there's no need to feel guilty. I should just go for it and cherish the memory for the rest of my life. <gasps> Sorry I kept you waiting. Hmm? <gasps> He's from Trapness! What, you mean Ren? No, the guy with the long hair! 
They saw us. And he had his arm around me. What if the paparazzi, the tabloids, the talk shows... I'm hungry. Um, uh, Mr. Takumi? Mister? What's with that? You usually just call me Takumi. Well, usually, yeah, but that's not the point. I don't want to get all weird, but do you really want everyone to see you taking girls up to your room? What are they gonna think? I mean, shouldn't you at least do something to try and be a little less obvious? You mean I should wear some sort of disguise? No way. If I did that, I'd stick out even more. <laughs> it might suit you. But seriously, I'm not joking. It's okay, don't worry. The paparazzi don't usually bother themselves with any of us. We try not to deal too much with the media. That way we can still lead a fairly normal life without being recognized. Are you kidding? Everyone knows Trap Nest. You guys are really famous. I guess they'd recognize Rara. Maybe she should try the disguise. I think all four of you are just as famous as each other. That's only because you're a fan. Huh? A lot of people seem to recognize Ren too. But Naoki and I are just the blonde guy and the dude with long hair. No, that's not true. To me, you're easily the best, Taku. Huh. He must think I'm a complete idiot. And an easy lay. Maybe that's the kind of girl I am. With everything I've been through, I thought I'd become more cautious when it came to men. But nothing has changed since that summer when I was 17. I just want to enjoy the moment for what it is. And I won't worry about what happens tomorrow. Oh my god! This place is huge! And there are even two rooms! It's like we're in a palace! Is this one of those penthouse suites? So, does that mean you like the room? I could die a happy woman right here and now! It's almost like I've gone to heaven! If you're gonna die on me, at least do it in bed. <gasps> but first, let's call room service and get something to eat. Get whatever you want. We're gonna order the food, then eat it here in the room? Yeah, but we can go out if you prefer... No! I've always dreamed of having room service in a hotel like this! I hear the duck is one of their specialties. The duck? I don't think I've ever had duck before! Really? It's good. I think you'll like it. What about foie gras? Never had that either. Sounds great! Let's get some caviar, too. Oh, yay! While we wait, why don't you take a shower? Make yourself comfortable. There's a spare bathrobe in there that you can use. Yeah, sure. My own bathrobe? He's totally at home here. Oh, this stuff's expensive. I should snag them. I bet there are dumb girls who go after Takumi all the time. I'm probably just one in a long line of conquests. As long as I know what I'm getting myself into, there's no harm in me living out a dream for one night. Is there? This is so good! Isn't it? But you know something, Nana? The food you cooked for us the other night was even better. I bet you say that to all the girls. No, I really mean it. When we're away on tour, we eat out all the time, and I get so sick of it. So I guess you guys are hitting the road again tomorrow, huh? Are you sure you've got time to hang out with me? Oh, uh, yeah, it's cool. We gotta leave super early in the morning, so it's hardly worth going to bed. But you're welcome to stay here and sleep in as late as you want. What? He's gonna leave? Oh, come on, Nana. Don't look so sad. It'll be hard for me to leave. Oh, right. I'm sorry. It's okay, really. I mean, it's not like I expected to wake up in the morning and find you lying there next to me or something. <sighs> hey, you know, when the tour's huh? over, first thing I'll do is come and see you. Maybe you can cook me up something good. I shouldn't fall for this. No, I'm okay. I'm not that stupid. I'm not 17 anymore. That was delicious, thank you! If you don't mind, I think I'm gonna go take a shower. Why don't you warm up while you're waiting for me? You really are impatient, aren't you? Can't exactly run away after stuffing myself with all this food, so go ahead and take your time. <laughs> I wonder how many girls Takumi seduced by bringing them up to his room like this. Why would he want a plain, ordinary girl like me when he can have whoever he wants? I gotta warm up! I gotta warm up! My phone! Should I just turn it off? Zero nine zero? Who's that? Hi, this is Nana. Hachiko? It's getting late. I've been worried about you. Do you know what time it is? Where the hell are you? Nana? 
Where are you calling from? Whose phone is that? Mine, all mine. <gasps> you finally bought one? Nah, Ren gave it to me. He forced me into it. <laughs> really? That's great. To be honest, I haven't got a clue how to use it. Like, how do you text message? Didn't it come with a manual? It's way too long. I don't want to read it. <laughs> I was waiting for you to come home and teach me what I need to know. But if you haven't got the same model as me, it'll be completely different. Really? Then you gotta come home quick, read the manual, and then teach me. <sighs> Where's Ren? Can't he teach you? He's the one who bought it for you. He just left. Uh, oh, right. He's leaving for the tour early in the morning, isn't he? Yeah, how'd you know that? Uh... Because Ren said something about it yesterday, I guess. He did? Yeah, I'm sure he did. So where are you? When are you coming home? <sighs> yeah, well, the thing is, I'm sort of hanging out at a friend's place right now. And I might stay the night. Oh, so you have some other friend who lets you sleep over that I don't know about? Uh... Mm. Is it a boy? No, I'm over at June's. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You don't have to freak out. Alrighty then. Guess I'll just have to figure out the phone on my own. Say hi to Junko for me. I can't tell Nana. I don't want her to know. I don't want her to think I'm a slut. She'd never look at me the same. What I want more than anything in the world is to find true love. Just the same as you, Nana. I want to have something as strong as the connection that exists between you and Ren. The truth is that I'm not okay with what I'm doing here. I don't want to have a one-night stand with Takumi and get dumped in the morning. What should I do? Nana, I'm scared. But it's too late to turn back now. I can't tell him that I want him to love me. This isn't good. I could end up getting hurt all over again. So, what do you think this alibi's all about? I have no idea. Nana's roommate's a woman, right? Hmm, but she's so tough and protective of Nana that sometimes I wonder. Nana seems to be so totally obsessed with her, it wouldn't surprise me if there was something going on between them. Not that it makes any difference to me. Oh, really? Something's fishy. Oh, yeah? Like what? Um, Junko, you haven't had that much to drink, have you? I think I smell a new boyfriend in Nana's life. I just hope she hasn't fallen for a guy so dangerous that she has to hide him from her roommate. As I was lying there, Takumi's long hair rained down on me all over my body. I loved the touch of it against my skin so much I hoped he would never cut his hair short. Even though I knew I might never be able to touch it again. He said I made it hard for him to leave, but he sure managed to leave in a hurry. Always in a rush. The prince has many things to attend to, you know. I should get out of here. My carriage is turned back into a pumpkin. I can't. I don't have the energy. It's like I have nothing left to hold me up. I've got to get it together. I've got to return to reality. I'll look for a new job in the morning. Any job. And this time I'm gonna take it seriously and work hard. Huh. Damn. The last train's already gone and I don't have enough money to take a cab home. I guess I'll just have to spend the night here. Anyway, it's the only time I'm ever gonna get a chance to stay somewhere like this. Huh. Huh. The last day of the tour is July 8th, here in Tokyo. I don't have a ticket, so I'll just cook something delicious and have it ready for you at home. I'll be here waiting, hoping that you'll come. What? You hung out with Yasu? What the hell? Why didn't you invite me? Shut your mouth, Blondie. I'm trying to read over here. Huh? Hmm. So how's he doing? Is he okay? He's fine, I guess. Hasn't changed a bit since we last saw him. He's still a skinhead, isn't he? Yeah. Nose still pierced? 
Uh -huh. So, what else? What's he up to these days? Jeez, enough with all the questions. I'm tired and I want to catch some Z's, okay? Anyone want to switch seats? Sure. I don't mind switching with Naoki. Uh <clears throat> hey, Take, which side of the train is Mount Fuji going to be on? I want to get a good look at it. Come on, tell me. Takumi? Yasu? He's a big lawyer now, apparently. Uh-huh. That isn't what I was going to ask you. But you wanted to know, didn't you? You mean they let him practice law looking like that? <laughs> looking like that. So he really did it. His dream came true. Good for him. Actually, he was a senior in college when he decided to take the bar exam and he still managed to ace the thing. That guy's so smart, it's crazy. Wow. Why is that crazy? Sit down and shut up, Blondie. It's got nothing to do with you. Anyway, he moved to Tokyo so he could play with his band. So now his dream's to become a professional musician. What? He's in Tokyo playing with a band? Yeah, it's the same band Ren was in before he joined us. Once they moved here, they had to find a new bass player. But they found one, so now they're really going for it. What the hell is this? He always said he could never take playing music seriously, and it would only ever be a hobby to him. I don't understand. I know, it sucks. You want me to rough him up for you or something? What I don't get is why he decided to change his mind now. Yasu! I thought you quit smoking. <laughs> oh, whatever. You can finish it. I know you've only been playing along with this stop smoking plan whenever I'm around. Just do whatever you want from now on. You're all Mr. Nice Guy on the surface, but who knows what you get up to behind my back. What else are you hiding from me? Uh, nothing worth mentioning. Nothing? You sneaky bastard! This time I'm really pissed off with you. How come you never told me you used to go out with Rayra? Oh, that. I'm sorry. Rayra's singing made that big an impact on you, huh? As if you didn't know! I said I'm sorry. I gotta say, she really was great on stage. Watching her, I was so jealous. I felt like I couldn't compete. Has she always been that good? Like, was she a born singer? A natural talent? Maybe. Ah! Well, if nothing else, she's got abs of steel. I guess if anyone would know, it'd be you. Where's Hachi? Isn't she coming today? Nobu, you've been asking the same thing all night. <laughs> Tell me, Nobuo, are you in love with Hachiko? No way! It's just weird not having a resident audience member here. But Hachi's just one person. I want to do a show! Ah! I need to sing so bad! Sure, let's go for it. We've been offered the chance to play. Hmm? What? No way, where? Same place we played last time. We drew a good crowd, so they asked if we wanted to come back. Let's do it! All, All right. right! That morning, I applied for three jobs. A dental receptionist, a supermarket cashier, and working the phones at a pizza place. I got rejected by them all. Why won't they hire me? What's wrong with me? Did they ask why you got fired from your old job? Yeah, I told them it was because my old boss thought I was a slacker in the office, but I promised I was going to shape up and take the whole work thing more seriously from now on. You told them you got fired because you goofed off and did nothing? Uh, How stupid! Uh, Nana, you got to realize if you go chasing after any old job, the same thing's going to happen again and again. What you need to do is find a job that suits you. And what kind of job would that be? Well, I don't know. There's got to be some kind of work you enjoy doing. We've just got to figure out what sort of job suits your personality. When people like their job, they do better work. That's all the motivation you need. Like when you worked for Mr. Mizukoshi at Sabrina. You were surrounded by stuff you loved, you could dress all hip and trendy, and you had fun while you were there. Why don't you look for another job like that? Oh, she's right. That makes total sense. Mr. Mizukoshi, I wonder what he's doing now. Don't start thinking about him again. But I do wonder. I know I never told you before, but I kind of had a crush on him when I worked there. Only kind of? It was obvious you wanted him. So tell me something. Mizukoshi and Takumi both have long hair. Do you have a fetish? No, I do not! Why are you overreacting? Because you're being weird and it's freaking me out! Why is it weird? I like guys with short hair. It's no big deal. Just a preference. I don't have a type. Takashi had short hair. Takashi? And so did Shoji! <gasps> I don't know what you classify as short, but Shoji's hair looked long to me. Really? Well, I guess it isn't exactly a crew cut. While we're on the subject of Shoji, do you feel like you're over him yet? <laughs> you should hurry up and get a new boyfriend with long hair. 
I couldn't bring myself to tell her about me and Takumi. And because of who he was, I couldn't even tell June. I had no one to talk to. I'd never fallen in love like that before. And it was painful. Hey, Shoji. Are you really moving? Shoji's moving in with Sachiko? That was fast. They're quite the lovey-dovey couple. Well, good for them. In a way, I'm kind of jealous. Young love, exciting and new. <sighs> Those were the days. Yeah. Eventually, I worked up the guts to get in touch with Takumi by sending a text message while he was on tour. But he never replied. Hey, Nana. I've always adored you, Nana. I wanted to be like you. I still feel that way. So please, sing for me. One more time. I reached into the sky. Oh, more you are. To the dark, I'm not good. 